Guys. Guys. Hold on. Let me put on a shirt real quick. Let me, uh, let me do that. Just, uh, before I start my life. Probably should have put on a shirt before I started my life. That would have been the smart thing to do, but I didn't. Guys. Oh, my God. I have so much to say. Are you, Mama's about to tell you a story. Mama's about to tell you a story. Everyone, sit down. It is story time. Story time for Michael Campion. Now, okay. Picture this, all right? Michael Campion, Las Vegas, going to a hacking convention, right? You know, that's, that's a true story. That's happening right now. Anyways, oh my gosh. I'm sorry to anyone who I haven't replied to on my text. My phone has been off because having your phone on at a hacking convention probably isn't the best thing. You know, the usual. Anyways, let me just, like, start from the beginning. So, oh my gosh, there's this thing called DEF CON, right? And DEF CON is a hacking convention. In here, in at Vegas, super, super cool, and I've been wanting to go for it for a really long time. If you guys didn't know, I'm into, like, hacking and all that. So, I get up at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning, me and my dad, we head over there, and um, I actually met some of my... Uh, my friends that I've never met in real life before, um, yeah, because they were all on, you know, online Reddit and Discord, so, anywho, let me get to the good stuff, all right, so, let me just explain real quick, everyone at DEF CON is, like, like, really, like, like, the stereotypical nerd, like, the stereotypical nerd, like, like, the ones with, like, the long hair, in like the shorts, and they look just like an IT guy. All of them had that sort of vibe going on. It was very weird. Um, I know. I, I feel. I felt kind of out of place for a little bit. Just letting you know. Anyways, I'm sorry. I keep getting off track. So m my favorite part of, of the entire day. My my thing that I like to do is called social engineering. Right? It's like you know, hacking people. And not not hacking people, but um, so they have this whole section in DevCon dedicated to like you know, hacking people. Or like you know, psychology kind of stuff, and oh my gosh, they had they're, they're having a contest, right? First of all, let me just get that out of the way. They're having a contest for teenagers, and there's like twenty of them signed up, and I am one of those twenty. And if you win, you get a three D printer, and a drone, and bragging rights. I I hope you understand. I'm literally, guys, that entire day, that entire day, all I'm doing is that, and <laughs> because. How cool would it be to, like, I don't even know. Anyways, today was super cool. They had, like, 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 like this little station set up for, like, lock picking, and I showed some people how to lock pick, and, um, and we, we did this contest, this, uh, this social, this, this, like, like, little social engineering contest. It wasn't, like, um, it wasn't anything crazy, uh, but basically you were trapped in a room, right? You had handcuffs on, and you had to shim your way out of the handcuffs. You had to... Break the locking mechanism, basically. Then, once you got out of that room, there was a door with a bunch of locks on it, right? There was three locks. One had the highest security, and if you beat that, it gave you an extra 30 seconds. The second one had minimum, like, like medium security, and if you beat that, it gave you 15 seconds. And then the lowest security lock, the, the three-pin one, gave you no time, but if you did it, then you could just go on. Then, after that, uh, you had to go to this computer... And uh, you had to like type in some commands. Um, that part it's not really interesting. And then, then you had to get like this baby powder and blow it into like this room, and it's full of lasers. Okay, mind you, this is literally, literally out of Mission Impossible. Like I am on cloud nine right now. It was so cool to watch. I didn't actually get to it get get to do it because they, they they pulled random names from a hat. But um, oh my gosh, seeing the people do it was like. It was like watching an action movie. It was super cool. Anyways, then, after all that happened, I got to meet one of my favorite people in the world. He's actually the man who writes all of these books, the books that I love so much. This is where I learned most of my stuff. His name is Christopher. Christopher Hagendy? Had, had, Hadengi? Had, Hadnagi? I don't know. Anyways, I met him today. 
and he gave me his card. And he was like, hey, I'd love to talk to you sometime about, you know, like, teen social engineering. I was like, because if acting doesn't work out, what else am I going to do? You know? Pick locks. Be a cat burglar. Kidding. I'm going to be a cat burglar. <laughs> Not going to be a cat burglar. Using my powers for good. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys how excited I am to be here. This is only the first day. And this is this this day, is I'm told, is the, the least fun day. Because everyone just goes there and then leave. Because there's nothing, like, nothing was really open. This was open today. That was cool. But, like, tomorrow is going to be literally insane. So, I'm looking forward to it. And I have had um, an absolute blast. It's been great. And I'm going to take a lot of pictures. I already have a lot of pictures. But most of the pictures are with my my friends who don't really want, want their face to be seen. So, because hackers... <laughs> I don't know, it's stupid to me. Anyways, so just want to let you guys know about that. Quick little update. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's what's up. So I, uh, I, will, I will talk to you guys on my next Monday live. I might even do a live tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. I might surprise you guys. This whole week is just going to be full of lives, hopefully. All right, you guys. See you later. Peace out. Goodbye. Oh, boy.